All of this cargo is going to the Ain Al Assad Air Base. It's one of Iraq's biggest air bases. It would take a few hours to get this cargo there from Baghdad by road, but it's not an option because the Islamic State are in control of Anbar province. They've attacked the base multiple times, so the only way we can get there is aboard this Iraqi Air Force transport plane. When the Americans left here, they left behind a mess. But it wasn't always like this. Once Anbar was at the forefront in the fight against extremism and Ayn al-Assad was deemed so safe, even the President of the United States, George W. Bush, was able to visit here and make a declaration. In Anbar, you're seeing firsthand the dramatic differences that can come when the Iraqis are more secure. In other words, you're seeing success. Anbar is a huge province. It was once written off as lost. It is now one of the safest places in Iraq. Now in Ayn al-Assad, though, the fight is very much on against the Islamic State. These soldiers are just about to head to the front line. They were there yesterday for two days, and in that time, the Islamic State made big advances. When we arrived here, we were told that they were 30 kilometers from the base. Now they're only 10 kilometers. What these men have been telling us is that uh, they haven't had the American air support that they've needed to check that advance. So if we look just over there, you can see the perimeter of the base. Outside is Anbar, and most of that province is in the control of the Islamic State and Sunni militants. So for the moment, all that's standing between Ayn al-Assad and the Islamic State are these men.